Welcome back and today we are going to be making a soda can so let's just dive straight on in. First of all we need to get rid of this cube and create a cylinder. That's our can. We're going to scale it up on the Z just to make it more of a can height I guess. Um, we're going to edit mode and we're going to put a couple of loop cuts in and then we're going to scale on the Z like so. The top here, number three, to select the face, we'll scale, we'll scale that on in to give it a little bit of a edge there and then we'll extrude that on the Z. like so this so this is just the lip that we're doing we do a bit of an inset and then extrude back down on the Z a little bit of an inset I'm sure there's probably an easier way of doing this um, extrude on the Z and then scale in and then I'm just going to um, delete the face that's that bit done the bottom bit uh, make sure we're in faces was oh, I don't even screencast doesn't always work so the bottom we're going to scale then we're going to inset and then extrude on the Z, extrude on the Z, and then just scale that in like so. Okay, um, next we are going to, oh, I'll tell you what we're going to do, we're going to put a subdivision on just so we know just so we can see how we're going in a smooth shade right so we've got to put another loop cut in here just to give that edge and then another one here just to give that edge and another one like so and we'll probably have to do the same for the bottom there so we'll just put a loop cut in there one in the bottom here Um, maybe one more just for good measure okay so there's our tinny tin tin um, next we're going to make the top um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select all the vertices on the edge and then we are going to um, E and scale about there and then we're going to scale on the X so now we're going to do like the little um, cutout thing um, so what we're just going to do is we're going to bring that down a bit because this is where you're going to be sipping your drink from so this is the wider bit um, so what we're going to do is select that one and that one. We're going to scale those in. That one and that one we're going to scale in as well. That's on the X. Scale in on the X. And the same here. Scale on the X. Um, that one and that one. And then this one and this one, just kind of like that, and those two just like that. I don't know if that's too big, but let's just bring those in a little bit, and that one. Ah, uh, we'll soon see. Now let's select all these vertices. 
and then we are going to E and S and then just take it on down and then what we can do is fill okay now what we need to do is we're going to control R just to pinch those edges in a little bit more and then Control R along here, and that will give us a bit more of an indent then. Okay, so that's that done. What we need to do now is the um, ring pull. So let's create a cube, scale that right down, and bring it on up, scale that down. Um, let's just focus on that and bring it on down there. Um, scale that out a little bit so it just fills that in. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Let's give it a couple of loop cuts on the long edge there. And then to there. Now what we need to do is maybe take this one and this one, this one and this one and just bring that back down. Um, So maybe there. Let's just bring those two and those two in and those two in. And let's just take that off and bring those down. Because we need it to be a little bit of a um we need to be that kind of circular. So what we're going to do is just going to do the cut out. So let's go into to select faces. We want that one, 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 and that one, and then W um, bridge faces. Okay, and then down here we could probably do with moving those. So let's just select that. Let's go back into vertices. Select that one and that one, that one and that one. Let's go to proportional. And maybe something like that. Okay. Let's bring those two in and those two in. Oh, let's turn that off. And then just bring them on up. That's better. And then down here we need a little sort of square bit, um, which will be kind of here. So we'll just put in a cut here, cut here, cut here, and bring that down. And then we we'll select faces, which is that one, that one, those two, those two, those two those two and those two I think and then they get uh, those two and those two and then W and bridge faces um, oh hang on let's undo that let's put a um, loop cut here so now 
we can select them again because we need a bit of thickness down the bottom there um, W and bridge faces there we go right so we're going to give that a little bit of subdivision as well okay and then what we need to do is put um, some loop cuts in just to give those edges a bit of sharpness again like so um, let's just turn that off a minute so we need one here bring that down one up there and bring that up and then we need a couple in one there one here and then we need one there and one there and that will give us our flippy bit um, so that is more or less that that kind of looks big but we can sort that out in a minute um, so our tin we're going to give a bit of a texture it's uh, metallic take the roughness down um, so that's like a metallic we'll give that to that as well and we need to put our logo and that on here so we'll select that we'll create a new material just make it red oh actually it's going to be an, an image texture anyway um, and it's going to be that I think and that is going to be applied to um, faces select 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 that's going to be applied to those so assign that now we need to go in to so what we need to do now is go back into here um, and we need to select this um, we need to go into edges select this row and this row and W and mark seam and then we need to select that line or the edge here um, down to here and then W mark seam and then we need to select all these or go into faces select 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 and w and we need to unwrap okay so we just got to rotate these g to move it over scale it up scale it on the y and then g on the y now as you can see here it's a little bit um, squiffy so what we need to do is select just unselect them all so alt and select for those w and align on the oops w align on the y W align on the Y and so on and so forth. W align on the Y. W align on the Y. Align on the Y and W align on the Y. And then that will align our logo to the can nicely. 
Okay, so we can just pull this over. So there's our can. We just need to make a um, cylinder. Oh, let's come out of the edit mode. Shift A, cylinder. Scale that down. Bring it on over. And then we need that in the center there. Scale that down a bit and then give that the material on there. Okay. And this I think we need to make a little bit rounder on the edges on the on the edges here. On here. So if we just go into vertices, select Alright, so on to seven, and then just um, well, let's just create a loop cut here, and then we can select all these. Four, five, eight, seven, and these four, eight, even, and scale them over. Oh, we missed one out. Just sort of bring it on over, and then we can just move that across and up. Okay. That, that probably needs to be made into a arch as well. Let's just bring them on in. And then on these ones, let's select all these here. And select all these here and then escape and then just bring them on in there like that <coughs> okay there's our cheeky little coke can might be a little stumpy can actually <laughs> can't have it all can you and then if we just add a plane bring that down and scale it up Let's change. Um, let's go into there. Um, let's change that lighting. Let's put a um, Oh, it's not that one, is it? It's that one here. An environment texture. Gonna open, go into there, and bring up a that one for a little bit of. So we just put a HDRI image in for our environment lighting. So that's looking good. That I'm going to change to an area light. Just to say two meters by two meters, just to give it a nice little let's just scale that. Oh you bugger. Well there you have it anyway. <laughs> that was that was the can um and blenders just sort of crashed on me, so I do apologize about that. Um, but I'll put the render image as the as the thumbnail. Um, but that's how you make it anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video of what, what was of it. 
Um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.